Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crablord back again with another vocal tutorial. Today we're gonna be doing a Kid Cudi humming vocal effect from the song Show Out. Now it's not exactly a hum he does, but it's kind of the same vibe as the other ones he does. So anyway, before we get into the video, make sure I have a nice subscribe notification bell as well so you never miss a video that I post. Also make sure to check out my description down below, a lot of sweet things down there. Like all my equipment, some preset packs, whatnot. I need to update it. I'm not gonna keep saying it because I really need to update it. And I'm gonna get on that even though it just gives me anxiety for some reason. I know it's been a while since I made a tutorial. Probably a lot of you weren't looking forward to listening to like a music video that I made for Christmas, but it was a lot of Fun. I just want to get back to the roots of making music again and kind of get my confidence for creating tunes again right? It literally took forever. That's why it was a two-week difference and technically it's kind of a waste for me to do that But listen, we're having fun. So anyway, Kid Cudi hum vocal effect from show out Let's get into the video. So if you look at my screen, I got it right here This is a recording I did before I caught myself not actually recording my computer So I'm gonna re-record it again. Also, this beat is reproduced by Rez K's. Shout out to him. Very beautiful production This is the effect right here. I'm gonna re-record it for you so you can see me in action So let's do it. I have the lyrics right here as well both lyric websites had different lyrics, so this could be wrong, but who cares? I could literally rap about my butthole and it would not matter. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Am I lost? Pray for me. Ooh, yeah. Dream on, fly away. Dream on, yeah. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Am I lost? Pray for me. What's the cause? Everything. Dream on, fly away, dream on. So if you enjoyed how that sounded, this is how you get it. Every time we make a vocal, we put a blank track underneath the effect. Just so you know, I'm gonna be talking on one track so you can hear me the whole time because you won't be able to understand me with all the effects on it. And then this is gonna be the track that's gonna change over and over again. New effect. Now, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna bring everything over from this side to this side, and this track is going to change into the effect, one by one. So here's how you do it. So first off, we have pitch correction. I absolutely hate explaining this. Reason is, it's different every single time for you, and not everyone needs it, but actually this effect does need it. So what you're gonna have to do is figure out what sounds good for it. So whatever melody you're making, you just gotta guess between natural minor and major scale and all the roots until it sounds good to you. But I have natural minor scale C. <sighs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> response time, I have it zero. You want the full auto-tune effect there. And I have it there. Zero response time. You gotta find the scale yourself. That is the only downside to this. Let's play it with just pitch correction. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Lord, do you hear me call out? Next, we're gonna go with a compressor. That is found in Dynamics, compressor, mono. With very, like, edited effects. I don't think you need to really compress it that accurately. I could be wrong. But I have a Studio VCA. It's my favorite one. What we got here is a ratio of 4.1 to 1. I'm gonna make this one just generally heavy, so I don't gotta put two. Auto gain's off. We got a ratio of 4.1 to 1. Threshold of negative 30. Mega of zero, even though I could have brought back some, but I didn't really care to. Tax at 10 rather fast and releases at 30. You can also turn distortion on if you want, but I have it off. Close it, and this is compression and pitch correction. Lord, do you hear me call out? Okay, it sounds better. Eh. Lord, do you hear me call out? Okay, it does sound better compressed. I lied to you. So now next is the first channel EQ. So with this effect, there's two channel EQs. This one's the initial one to kind of set what the vocal's gonna basically sound like. And the last one, we'll get to that. But this one is EQ channel EQ mono, like always. And it's kind of simple. EQ can be different for everyone, but for an effect like this, you can kind of have it the same. It won't matter. You can copy all these values here, but basically what I did is I took away about the red at 200, get rid of the lows there. There's still some low there, but not all of it. I drop at 500, just a general get rid of that area because I don't like it. Big raise at 1500 all the way to 10K, and we drop it off. And that's that. So let's play it now. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. So now we're getting into the effect part. We got an overdrive, which is a cool word for distortion. Distortion, overdrive, mono. This is what it sounds like right now. Am I lost? Baby, me. Ooh, yeah. Overdrive is found in distortion, overdrive, mono. So within the overdrive, there's three knobs. I use this one because it's very simple and easy. 16 overdrive, it's rather a lot of drive. Output of negative 10 because when you drive it high, it gets extremely loud and hurts. The tone's at 15,900, it could be 16,000. Generally between 15,000 and 20,000, it kind of sounds the same, but we have it at that. Close it, and this is what it sound like. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Now the last channel EQ that is very important, it's gonna bury your vocal. It sounds like like this. Lord, do you hear me call out? What's cool about this type of EQ is that it buries you behind the beat and it kind of mixes you with it. So you almost sound like you're inside the song. 
EQ, channel EQ, mono. I do the strategy for a lot of vocals like this. You basically want to take the low and shrink it till it's like a, this kind of slope. So you grab it and you drag it. We're going to take away the 200 area, 500 area, make it a little deeper. We start at the 2K, drop in with the blue. And then the purple, we just take it and drag it to 6,000 to cut the rest off. Basically, the main high vocals cut off. So you're a lot more dark toned in, in the background. And you have just this area here. And this area isn't the most pleasant area, but it makes for a good effect. Now, let's play it. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Lord, do you hear me call out? Eh. Final effect in the chain is a space designer. I'm gonna bring it over. Reverb, space designer, mono, stereo. Lord, do you hear me call out? This is what makes it very airy and spacey and ambient. So within it, 4.4 second big plate. I generally stick to large space plate and then all any of these. I like all these the most. Big plate right here. That's just a preset. If you don't have that, you can literally just change these to make it mine. And it's the same thing. See, 4.4 seconds. A negative 18 wet, negative 2 dry. That's basically what I did. And then also output EQ. We did the same thing with the EQ we just did. We took out the purple basically to 5,000 and then took this orange to 200. So we're just getting these areas. You don't want the crispy sounds to be reverbed. You don't want the deep, muddy sounds to be either that's what it sounds like lord do you hear me call out eh lord do you hear me call out eh now this has a little more flavor to it and we're talking about a stereo delay in the bus one so go to the empty cell bus one it's going to create this bus we got to add to it as a stereo delay delay stereo delay stereo but make sure it's in a bus bus one delay stereo delay stereo stereo delay just basically bounces it around the sides of your head it's gonna go here then here Okay. It's not going to be an echo in the front. It's going to be here and here. Left and right delay should have the same note. One fourth note for me. It's going to be different for you. My strategy is to just play it with your beat and then adjust it until it matches the tempo and sounds good to you. And then low cut 340, 7000, 490, 7500. You could tell I didn't really care about that. Just generally between these two areas is a good way to delay it. The delay you hear is going to be only these frequencies. The output makes it 60%. So it's only going to come back 60% loudness of the original vocal. Feedback 24, 27. It's basically how many times it repeats itself. And then we close it. We're going to set the bus one knob to activate it negative four now we're going to talk on it Am I lost? Am I lost? Uh, make sure to turn it down too a little bit lord do you hear me call out eh. lord do you hear me call out eh. am i lost with me Ooh, yeah dream on fly away dream on yeah well, that literally is it. Now that we did that, now we're just gonna freestyle and have a good time with it and see what we can come up with. Yeah, so let's do it. This is my cringe impression of British rap. Don't hate me for it. Oh, been a long time since I cut my hair. Got a big cop says mama bear. And I don't give a damn about you. I was playing games with my friends. I'm going skiing tomorrow. I'm gonna go down the hills. I'm gonna f with your moms. I'm gonna make pay them bills. Ooh. And I'm from the captor, I don't get put down with collector. They call me the bone collector. I don't put what bit out of sector. And I'm rapping on this microphone. I don't give a what you know. I don't give a damn what you heard. I don't give a damn what you owe. I don't know what I'm saying no more. And I'm speaking in a different language. And I'm speaking in a different accent, but I don't get down with a f Whoa. Pull up, pull up. I was a man and I came up. Who's knocking at the door? I'm here for more. I'm gonna sing this part like a little goober. Oh, Lord, do you hear me call out? Hey, Lord, do you hear me call out? Yeah, hey, my laws with me. Ooh, yeah, here I fly away. Oh, oh. oh. That's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned something as well. And if you didn't, then I apologize to you. Anyway, make sure to drop a like in the video, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, and what to do next. Anyway, like I said before, subscribe and subscribe, notification bell as well. Description chock full of sweet things down below. Make sure to drop a like in this video, it helps me a lot. As I feel like my channel's dying, it's my new duty to revive it. Happy New Year 2021, baby. We're going off. Woo! Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a crab load. Hasn't like Kid Cuddy's humming vocal effect in Logic Pro 10 using all these live plugins. Like always, love you guys. Yeah.